today I want to go through a tool that I absolutely love called Edpuzzle. So what Edpuzzle does, I'm just going to log in here uh, as I'm talking, it allows you to take a video and make a video into a quiz. So I'm going to log in as a teacher here. So here's the main interface in Edpuzzle. You can see my classes down the left hand side here that I've got going. And you can see all the assignments that I've set my classes here. I can set a due date for the assignment. I can see what percentage of my class has completed that assignment. And I can click on and see the progress that's gone on in that assignment. So when I do that, by default, I get a list of the students' names. I can see who's watched it. And I can see the grades that they've got. So I can embed quizzes within there, which I'm going to show you. And I can see what grade they've got. So straight away, I can see those students who have mastered the material and those people who, who have watched the video but have struggled with it um, and see which ones they've got, they've got wrong. So if I go into any one student, I can dive right in. I can see uh, which parts of the video that they've watched. You can see, so Brendan watched this last bit here twice. I can see the questions and I, I can see his answers to the questions that I've asked. And I can mark those questions here if I like. If they're multiple choice questions, it marks them automatically and the students get immediate feedback about how they've gone on the quiz. If it's not, if it's a, it's a response, it could be a text response or anything, then you can mark it really simply. So I can scroll through the students and I can see how much each student has watched each section of the video. So that's a really good way for me to check to make sure that uh, the work's been done as I expect. And I can also see which parts, you know, students have watched a number of times to maybe see which parts were a bit confusing for them or which bits they didn't understand. All right, so, so Scott only watched 60% of the video, but he got them all right. So, you know, again, I'm not concerned. Scott, the more, he's got them all right. He understands all the work there. Uh, he hasn't, you know, watched the whole video. That's okay, but I can get that information in there, which is really, really cool. If I click on the grade button here, I can see for each question, I can see all of the answers. So I can quickly go down and select yes, 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 yes. I can even get a mark out of 100 if you want. I can even give a comment if I wanted to. So I can say why it was that uh, Brittany's answer was wrong in this case, okay? So I can give feedback to her on individual responses for the question. I can also look at the responses by question and I can see how many people have got each individual question right. So straight away, I can see 19 out of 23 got this one right. So most of us are covered in this one. This was the one that proved the hardest and it shows me exactly what people wrote for this one. So this isn't a multiple choice one. This is a free text response. So the students have to write their answer in and I can see exactly what's going on in that particular question. So you can look at by students. You can also look at the results by question. Any video that I've got here, I can look uh, at the video as a student. So I can see it exactly as the student sees it. So uh, in this particular video, I'll just turn the sound down. Uh, I'm going through a certain, this is a video that I've created. Uh, I've uploaded this video onto YouTube and then as the video goes along, the video pauses after a certain concept. You will see the video pauses and I can add a note in there. So in this case here, I'm just adding a little note. The student cl uh, clicks continue. So you can add notes at any time. And then when we get to the end, if I just click on that, you can see here's the questions based on the video and the, uh, the video pauses and you can put this question any time in the video and the, question, the students can then put their answers in and I can see all of their answers after they click submit, which is really cool. Okay, the other section here in Edpuzzle, if I go to my content, this will show all the videos that I've uploaded and I've, I've signed to my classes. So um, if I go create, I can create a new video, I can upload a video. So if I've already got a video sitting on my computer, I could upload that video um, or I could just say, oh, new video. And this is where you can search for videos that are already on Edpuzzle. So a lot of the times if you do a search, you'll see that there's a lot of videos on here that already have Edpuzzle videos with quizzes embedded in them. So if I choose fractions, it uh, looks like this is a really popular one. I can uh, have a look at it. So I can preview that video, I can see what it looks like, I can see if it's appropriate for me, I can have a look at the quizzes that have been embedded, what's the numerator, what's the denominator. So, you know, you could use this for anything, any level. I've used it for uh, 12 specialist maths, you could use this with younger students as well, okay? So any video you can find that's on Edpuzzle, of course, you can search YouTube for fractions as well. So you can use any of the videos from YouTube 
and embed quizzes in those as well. And this is a really easy way to do it. So you can just say, okay, I want to use that video there and then I'm going to embed some questions in it. So let's, uh, I can either copy the video or I could use, I could look at this video, preview it in YouTube and say, yep, that's a really good one. So if I click on use it, Here's the window where I can add stuff in Edpuzzle. So first thing, I can trim the video. So if I don't want the first 20 seconds of the video, I can just do that. And it will automatically trim out, in this case, the first 24 seconds of the video. And I can do the same for the end. So I can just get a little snippet of the video I like. And if you've got long videos, I'd suggest that's the way to go. Try and make them, you know, a couple of minutes, two or three minutes long. So I can do that to start with. Uh, then what I can do is an audio track. So I can record an audio track over the whole video if I like. So this will replace the audio on the video and replace it with my audio track that I go through myself, which is great. Additionally, I can just chuck in an audio note. So at any stage on this video that we're watching uh, about fractions, what I can do is just hit this little thing here and I am inserting my own video note right now. Okay, so what I've done, the video will pause and it will insert my audio note in that video whilst the uh, person's still talking on this video. Okay, so that's the, the next little thing. You can see my little audio notes in there. The one that I use all the time is the quizzes. So this is the last thing that you can put in the puzzle. So it's uploaded my little video. You can see my audio note. So at any stage during the video as we're going along here, we might want to ask a question. So if I click on the, the question mark, I can have an open-ended question and I get some formatting options here, including a really nice maths formatting option where you can uh, use fractions, exponents, anything like that. So you're into maths, you've got just every tool you want there. Okay, so I want to write the fraction a half. There it is there, and you can see the preview of it. Okay, so there's my uh, preview of my question. Half of whatever. Uh, if you want to make a multiple choice question, you just click on that box. And then you've got the choices here. So you can go for A, B, and C. You choose which one is right, and the students get straight away feedback when they, um, when they answer the question. And the third option here is just a comment. So you might want to put a comment in just at that section of the video. So the video pauses, your comment comes up, and then they click continue, and it will keep going. You can add as many of these questions as you like. Okay, so I've got two questions here. Um, why is blah, blah, blah. so you can ask questions that require the students to respond in text form anything like that so uh, i've now got three questions here i can click on save there's my first one there was a comment and this one here is my text response and that's it once you've uh once you've uh added that question added that little thing in there you can give it a name so this is just the name from youtube so you can change the name here and then you just click on finish. It saves as you go along as well, which is really cool. Now, what you can do is assign that video to a class. So if you don't have it, you can say, oh, I'm gonna assign it later. So I just click on here later. Or you can say, yes, I wanna assign it to this particular class. Okay, so this class here or this class here. So you choose a class. You can also assign it to multiple classes. If you have two classes doing year seven work, for example, you could assign it to both of those classes. You can prevent skipping, which is neat, so the students can't fast forward through the video, they have to watch it, or you can do it so that they can skip along. So it's, it's up to you. And you can also set a due date for the assignment and say, okay, I want this due uh, next Friday at 11.59 p.m., for example. Okay, that's it. Once I click on assign, that um, video will then appear for those students, and they'll be able to answer the questions. It's really simple for students to join an Edpuzzle class. They just go to edpuzzle.com. They just need to put in one code. So here's my class code for that class I was talking about, where you can just send them the link uh, as well, and that they, they're straight in and they can join the class. So it's just a code. Um, and they're in, and they're into your classroom. So there's also uh, an app for this. So here I am on my iPhone, and the kids get all of the uh, assignments that I've given them. They can see the ones that are due soon and the ones that are upcoming. They can click on that assignment that we were looking at before. They can play the assignment. Uh, and you can see the little uh, markers there where the quizzes are. So they can also see when the questions are coming up and when the annotations are coming up. So 
In my case here, I haven't stopped them, prevented them from skipping, so they can go through, they can watch this anytime they want, and they can answer the questions. So if we just skip through to the last question, so here's the questions that they get on their phone. So they can scroll through, look at each question one at a time. They can re-watch the section just before they want to, or any section that they want to, so that's good as well. So they can re-watch any part before they then go and answer the question. So that's a quick rundown of Edpuzzle.